Welcome back my dear students. I am Barkat Ali Mehar, Assistant Professor of Physics from Government Degree College Tool. As you know that we successfully completed the first chapter of the first year class of the physics. Today we are going to start the second most important chapter of this first year physics. And this is very important chapter for the physics learners because without understanding scalars and vectors we cannot understand the physics. As it is said that vector is a tool of a physicist. As you know that tool is very important thing for any professional uh, person. As you know that a stethoscope is the basic tool of the doctor and the vernier caliper or a scale is the basic tool of an engineer. Similarly, we can say the vector is the basic tool of a physicist. So it means vector is a very important concept. Uh, after completing this lecture, uh, what will be your outcome? That you will be able to explain the and define the scalars and vectors and their representation as well and how can we add two vectors or more than two vectors graphically yes after completing this lecture you will be able to define and add vectors so let's come as you know that the name of uh, this chapter is scalars and vectors so that will be in your mind that scalars and vectors we are talking about what so let me explain as you know that phys all physical quantities in the first chapter was divided into uh, basic quantities as well as derived quantities but in this chapter these quantities are again further divided into some other groups and they are said to be scalars and vectors on the basis of what let's see so we are going to explain first the scalars and scalar quantities and after that we will explain the vectors or we can say vector quantities so let's see uh, what are scalars scalars by name it is clear that having only a scale scale means having only a value a numerical value means only magnitude no any particular direction is needed to explain this quantity that is known as the scalar. Simply I can say those physical quantities which are completely specified are explained by only magnitude and proper unit are known as scalars. Yes, my dear students, whenever you don't have need to explain the direction of any thing, any quantity, that physical quantity is known as a scalar. Now let's see which are the examples of scalars. For example, if I want to measure the mass of this book, as you know that mass is only said to be the quantity of matter present in that body. The quantity of matter in that body is greater one as compared to this one. So its mass is said to be lesser than the mass of this book. But how can we measure the mass? Mass is measured with the help of physical balance. If I place this book on one side of the physical balance and I put, uh, uh, put one a half kg or some any other standard on other side and the physical balance becomes balanced, it means the mass of this book is said to be 0.2 kg, 0.3 kg or something else. So it means uh, for measuring the mass of this book or the amount of sugar or the amount of any iron or something else, we do not need to mention any particular direction for the measurement of the mass. Yes, we never ever say that uh, the mass of north, mass along x-axis. Have you listened about this mass? of sugar in a particular direction then it will become sweeter than the other direction never ever so mass is only a scalar quantity uh, it is measured with only uh, magnitude only value 
it does not possess any particular direction it doesn't require any particular direction to define or explain the mass so can i say mass is a scalar quantity yes because suppose i measure the mass of the amount of sugar and that is 5 kg so phi is only the magnitude of that physical quantity and chloram is its particular unit so mass is said to be only a scalar quantity which are other quantities considered as the scalar then simply i will say to you all basic quantities are scalars isn't it interesting all basic quantities yes seven basic quantities important one you have studied in the first chapter these all are scalars so mass is a scalar length is a scalar time is a scalar current is a scalar temperature is a scalar amount of uh, luminous intensity is a scalar amount of substance is a scalar so all seven basic quantities are scalar the ye bhi yaad rakhan do in the kind of other chung which are the uh, other physical quantities considered as scalars the yes you can say volume is a scalar density is a scalar agar na bayan wala wathan chaya tha energy is a scalar work is a scalar power is a scalar electric flux is a scalar one magnetic flux is a scalar one etc ketra bhi nala khano these quantities are considered as scalars haane na chundo to how can we deal with the scalar quantities how can we add subtract multiply and divide the scalars are we going to learn the new algebra for the scalar quantities here then i will say no because scalars are added subtracted multiplied and divided by only common arithmetic rules simple algebra is required that is already you knew from the basic classes so simple algebra is required to add to multiply divide or subtract the scalar quantities agar ma ta ke example dia ta suppose ekre ghar mein ba bhai rahen tha ek bha khand randi ba kg be bha khand randi 4 kg how much amount of the sugar is present in that home yes you will say sir 6 kg acha guess आया उहे केजी खंड खपाए करे हलिया तो हाँ बुधायो तो खी खंड उन घर में मौजूद आ नौ सिंपली यू से फोर के जी सुबह जो उ पा में विड़ी पा वो बई घर अलग थी नौ हाँ उन हर एक के घर में केतरी खंड मौजूद होंगी अगर वह डिवाइड कई वही इक्वली इन द बोथ ब्रादर्स नौ यू से सर टू के जी इन ईच होम वरी बेडी उ पा ठही वह now her she combined thi gayi now what amount of the sugar present in that home in which they are now living together now you will say sir 4 kg so was there any difficulty to add subtract multiply or divide the sugar among the two brothers never ever so it means scalars are treated as a very simple quantities and you all know that how can we add subtract divide or we can multiply the scalars so it means in this chapter the important one are the vector quantities because vector quantities are those physical quantities which are completely specified or explained by not only the magnitude yes by the magnitude as well as direction and a proper unit so these are the very different quantities these quantities always require uh, any mentioning any particular direction without mentioning the particular direction we cannot understand about these quantities whenever we cannot understand about these quantities how can we treat with these quantities how can we deal with these physical quantities so these are different quantities and in this chapter we are going to learn the vector algebra and vector algebra is required to deal with the vector quantities for example which are the vector quantities 
if your teacher say to you move five steps is this statement is enough for you to understand in uh, or you will say sir in which direction absolutely you will say sir in which direction i should move upward downward backward forward rightward leftward in which direction so it means you will ask from him sir in which direction so it means the change in position is a, a, a vector quantity and change in position in a particular direction will be known as the displacement so displacement is a vector quantity because uh, in the complete explanation complete understanding for the displacement you have to ask the about the direction sir in which direction should i move five steps so displacement is vector quantity any person comes here and says to you that i have applied the five newton force again you will say again you will ask from him in which direction you applied the force upward downward leftward backward in which direction so it means force is which quantity i can say force is a vector quantity because five newton is not in the for the description of the force five only is the magnitude of that force newton is the particular unit but particular direction must be required to understand completely the force so force is not a scalar quantity force is a vector quantity so for force is always written like this and all vector quantities are represented some arrows over them uh, having symbol a uh, five newton along positive x direction positive ne uh, negative of x direction positive y direction negative y direction these are all kinds of the some particular directions so force is a vector quantity i think it's very clear for you that force is a vector quantity because it has magnitude as well as direction and a proper unit so those physical quantities which are completely specified by the magnitude as well as direction and proper unit are known as the vectors or you can say vector quantities yes these quantities are very different one and to deal with these quantities we have to learn the vector algebra so actually this chapter is vectors algebra which is required to deal with the these vector quantities so the vector quantities scalars ka different hone ki ma simply ikro ta misal ya the gm plus 4 kg asa chyo se the that become 6 kg so scalars ke jod karan simple agar asa chau 3 plus 4 kg then you will say 7 kg is the only answer in the terms of scalars yes in scalars it's simple one but in vectors 3 newton force is there 4 newton force is there along the vertical direction what will be the total force acting on a body suppose a body is being uh, subjected to force of 3 newton along x axis and 4 newton along y axis then how much amount of the force is acting on this body and in which direction so 3 newton is here 4 newton is here so now the total force acting on this body will be 5 newton yes so 3 newton and 4 newton can be 5 newton we will understand in the vector algebra how it is 5 newton but we will study suppose 3 newton and 4 newton are parallel to each other now what will be the total amount of the force now you will say 7 newton if the 3 newton and 4 newton are opposite to each other then what is the amount of the force then you will say only sir 1 newton so it's amazing that 3 and 4 can result 1 3 and 4 can result as 5 3 and 4 can result as 7 so every this value is possible for the sum or addition of these vector quantities so vector quantities are not simply added subtracted like the scalars so we have to learn the new ways to deal with these forces or vectors 
in which two values can have the maximum value as well as the minimum value and the any intermediate value is also possible so it means vectors are very different so vectors mein ye sabhi jawab thi sagan tha train char jo jawab bhik bhi thi sage do sat bhi thi sage do panja bhi thi sage do par ye simply sat the that's not uh, possible in the vectors the vectors ek bhi alag duniya hai to vectors ke sa clearly samjhno pando now i will say uh, conclude this definition of scalar and vectors so which are the other examples of the वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज अदर एग्जांपल्स जो अगर जिक्र अचे तो ता चई सको ता यस फोर्स इज वेक्टर क्वांटिटी टेल मी डिस्प्लेसमेंट यस वेक्टर क्वांटिटी वेलोसिटी एक्सेलरेशन नेम इट मोमेंटम यस मोमेंटम इज वेक्टर क्वांटिटी टॉर्क और मूवमेंट ऑफ फोर्स इज वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी एटसेट्रा अदर फोर्सेस अदर Uh, quantities are there so these are all vectors and these were only the scalar quantities i hope that now you become able to define the scalars and vectors yes scalars are those quantities which have only magnitude and proper unit and the vectors are those physical quantities which have magnitude as well as direction and proper unit so it means all the physical quantities of the world are divided into two groups one is the scalar other are the vectors now we will further study about the vector quantities note it down yes my dear students after learning the definitions of the scalar quantities and vector quantities now we are going to learn that how can we represent a vector quantity graphically so the, our our topic is graphical representation of a vector har vector quantity ke padhiya as a particular direction mentioned hundiya to har wa quantity jenge particular direction ho je unne ke agar graphically asa draw kare sagau jiya karan vanjau tha to kiya draw kabo ha to graphically draw karan ka po unan vector quantities ke deal karan asan thi vendo ha जी हाँ उन्होंने एड कर सपरेट कर या मल्टीप्लाई कर आसान थी वे तेजे करे वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज के असा ग्राफिकली भी रिप्रेजेंट कहना डिस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर्म में तो गाल हायल हों पर उनके ग्राफिकली भी रिप्रेजेंट कहना तो ग्राफिकली क्या रिप्रेजेंट कहना शार्डली तो समझी वो तो सपोज त कहीं अस डिस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर्म में एक वेक्टर जो बयान दिनल आ का शे वेक्टर क्वांटिटी है suppose consider a change in position of an aeroplane which has traveled 400 km along north east so can we say this is the uh, uh, displacement of the aeroplane because uh, aeroplane has been displaced 400 km along north east so you can say this is the description of a vector quantity and that vector quantity we know that displacement and displacement of that aeroplane is four and displacement is actually represented by s vector or r vector or d vector in the physics so that's why i am using this symbol for the displacement and its displacement is what 400 km 400 is its magnitude kilometer is its yes unit and along north east yes north east represents the direction of this displacement so you can say this one is a given vector according to this consideration so according to this consideration this is a given vector but we are going to represent this vector graphically let's see how can we represent it तो हाँ तुम तो इन वेक्टर क्वांटिटी में ब शूँ आज मैग्नीट्यूड भी है डायरेक्शन भी है तो अड़े नमूने ग्राफिकली उन रिप्रेजेंट क्यों तो इनमें मैग्नीट्यूड जो भी जिक्र अच्छी वही उन पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन भी सागी रहे जगह गिविन ये बई श ग्राफिकली क्या आने सूँ था तो ग्राफ पेपर से तुम दिखो हों हारिजेंटल लाइन्स भी होंगी नी वर्टिकल लाइन्स भी होंगी नी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द टू लाइन्स वन इज द हारिजेंटल वन अदर इज द वर्टिकल वन this horizontal line is also known as x coordinate or you can say x axis and this vertical line is also known as the y coordinate or y axis these are are the terms for these lines in mathematics you know 
अच्छा जाते ये लाइंस क्रॉस करनी नहीं दैट इज ओरिजिन इन साइड के ता नेगेटिव एक्सिस चोंदा हो इन साइड के ता नेगेटिव एक्स एक्सिस विच चई सको था सो ग्राफ पेपर दे ताके पर लाइंस पेरो सेलेक्ट करनी नहीं पर ता जो नो सर नो हेते दसा के नॉर्थ ईस्ट जो जिक्र है एक्स वाई जेड एक्सिस जो जिक्र त नहीं तो ये इट्स ओके तो ताहा के हेते पर लाइंस ड्रा करन खपन जे के एकर के क्रॉस कन एरो शो कन दो इन मैप्स यू हैव सीन that's this side is always represented as north side north pole this is east west and this one is the south side so is this clear now y axis is now representing we can say north side x axis now representing the east side yes you can say so it's clear now that this one is the north this one is our east but uh, the problem is that how can we draw the 400 km line is this possible to draw 400 km line here on the board or on your paper of the copy no sir it is not possible when it is not possible now what you have to do then you have to suppose an scale supposition of scale sir what the ta hete hik centimeter rakho in the hik centimeter suppose jeka line a इन द जो असा वैल्यू खणंदा तो 1 सेंटीमीटर लाइन इज सपोज इक्वल टू 100 किलोमीटर अगर ता सपोज कयो तो 1 सेंटीमीटर लाइन इज इक्वल टू 200 किलोमीटर देन यू हैव टू ड्रा 2 सेंटीमीटर लाइन फॉर द 400 किलोमीटर इज आई हैव कंसीडर्ड दैट 100 किलोमीटर इज इक्वल टू 1 सेंटीमीटर इट मींस 400 kilometers will be represented by only 4 centimeters yes it's very simple so now it becomes possible to draw far, to represent the 400 km with the help of only 4 centimeters yes my dear sir 4 centimeters on line draw kan do so it means ta chai sago tha that is 400 km सो हाँ हर शे आसान थी वही डायरेक्शन की भी असा खबर पेजी वही ग्राफ पे अस मैग्नीट्यूड रिप्रेजेंट कर भी खबर पेजी वही तो फॉर 400 किलोमीटर वी कैन ड्रा ओनली 4 सेंटीमीटर लाइन दैट 4 सेंटीमीटर लाइन विल रिप्रेजेंट द 400 किलोमीटर्स इट्स वेरी सिंपल नाउ सो हाउ कैन वी रिप्रेजेंट दिस वैक्टर ग्राफिकली नाउ कम टू द फाइनल पॉइंट हाने ता चोदो त हे 400 किलोमीटर ला 4 सेंटीमीटर लाइन कडनिया पर 4 सेंटीमीटर लाइन केडे तरफ कडनिया त ता चोदो 4 सेंटीमीटर लाइन जहाज वयो नॉर्थ ईस्ट में दिस इज नॉर्थ दिस इज ईस्ट व्हाट इज द एंगल बिटवीन द नॉर्थ एंड ईस्ट यू कैन से 90 एंगल परपेंडिकुलर हुंदी नी लाइंस त ये 90 राइट एंगल हुंदिया अच्छा नॉर्थ ईस्ट में व्याऊ मींस एट व्हाट एंगल द नाउ यू हैव टू से 45 तो द नॉर्थ है इस चीज भी का भी डायरेक्शन एंगल मेंशन नहीं तो ता पानी सपोज कर दो द नॉर्थ है इस जो सेंटर मींस 45 तो ता एक विषय या करनी है तो हते ता प्रोटेक्टर रख दो प्रोटेक्टर रख हुआ है कि डी हो दिया उन ते ता 45 एंगल के सेलेक्ट कर दो 45 एंगल वाले पॉइंट ते एक रो ता पॉइंट लगा दो वो एक रो ता स्केल खण दो उन स्केल की मदद से ता इने के ड्रा कर दो but how much line draw kan do only 4 cm so now this vector hane ta 45 angle te ekro line kadhi in the line ke ta arrow head di no hane chai sago tha this is a vector which represents the 400 km along the north east direction now i am going to conclude that how can we a vector is graphically represented you can say a vector is graphically represented by a line yes there is line which shows its magnitude and an arrow head which shows its direction so every vector quantity is represented by such type of arrows in every arrow there is a arrow head as well as a line that line represents the magnitude of vector quantity and an arrow head indicates its particular direction so this is the graphical representation of this vector if it was said that 200 km along east 
so you have to draw only 2 cm along the east if it was said that no 300 km along the north direction aeroplane has moved then you have to draw only 3 cm line along the y axis or you can say along the north side so in this way uh, uh, go to home and uh, uh, you are at home so that's why practice much more to draw these vectors j3 practice kando that will be better for you so i hope the pani practice ke tan continue rakhando so he ko ma vector draw kare dekhayo in a vector ke chai sako tha that this is the vector of displacement which indicates 400 km along northeast haane ta jo vector graphically the hiya thanda with an arrow पर ता चुंदो वेक्टर के सिंबली के लिए किए रिप्रेजेंट कर हुआ दिस इज द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिंबलिकली इन सिंबल्स हाउ कैन वी राइट द वेक्टर्स तो ता के ये से याद रखन खपे त हर वेक्टर जो को न को इनिशियल पॉइंट हुंदो है इनिशियल पॉइंट ऑफ एनी वेक्टर इज नोन एज इट्स टेल सपोज ओ पॉइंट इज इंडिकेटिंग इट्स इनिशियल पॉइंट सो ओ इज नाउ इंडिकेट एज द टेल and suppose p is the terminal point of this vector so p point or you can say this is the head of the vector so every vector has initial point that is known as the tail and the terminal point which is known as the head so hinna vector jo nalo ta hiya bhi rakhi sako ta to suppose this vector is op vector op likhi kare arrow hai ta dindo matha ta you can say this is op vector uh, but no you want to represent it in a single letter then you have to use the capital letter of english alphabet so you can say this is a vector yes op vector or a vector but you know that this is a proper vector these are not proper vectors we are supposing some vectors but as you know that this is displacement or agar force ho अगर वेलोसिटी हो जिया तो दे आर सेट टू बी प्रॉपर वेक्टर्स तो ता जनो हे को प्रॉपर वेक्टर तो इन के हिनन नाल ने की जरूरत ना है हिन के पंजी निशानी भी आ है तो दिस प्रॉपर वेक्टर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एस वेक्टर्स सो दिस इज अ वे टू राइट अ वेक्टर सिंबलिकली दिस वाज अ वे टू वेक्टर ग्राफिकली यस नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट अगर काथे हिए चेल हो जे त सिंबलिकली ता दिसी आयो त वेक्टर ओपी वेक्टर आई कैन से ए वेक्टर एस वेक्टर आर यू कैन से बोल्ड लेटर ऑफ इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट यस माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर ता मथा एरो न दियो त जस्ट बोल्ड लेटर सा लिखो ए बी सी बट बोल्ड लेटर इन कंप्यूटर्स यू नो दैट सो बोल्ड लेटर्स आल्सो रिप्रेजेंट वेक्टर्स but agar ta chalo this is a symbol of complete vector but we want to mention only the magnitude of vector then magnitude of vector is represented like this a vector jo magnitude a mod likhando these lines differing ke modulus che hua ya we use the italic letters of english alphabet इटालिक लेटर्स में लिखो जी असा जेके भी स्केलर क्वांटिटीज हुयो उनन के इटालिक लेटर्स में लिखना हूं एम एफ जेका भी होजे एल होजे टी होजे टाइम होजे इटालिक लेटर्स में लिखाऊं इट मींस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर मैग्नीट्यूड सो दीस आर या ता बोल्ड ए लिखेला तो बोल्ड ए के भी ता मॉड्यूलस में बंद कर लो तो दैट विल बी मैग्नीट्यूड सपोज हाने हिए लिखो दा तो दैट इज कंप्लीट वेक्टर अगर हिए काशे लिखो दा तो दैट इज ओनली इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इट मींस नाउ देयर इज नो एनी नीड टू मेंशन द डायरेक्शन तो वेक्टर जे जस्ट मैग्नीट्यूड जे बारे में गालायो त ता हिए लिखंदो मानो के पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन जो जिक्र न था कयो उने जे जस्ट मैग्नीट्यूड जे बारे में फिलहाल गाला रहे हो तो उने जे ला है सिंबल्स यूज कर दो एंड दीस सिंबल्स आर यूज्ड फॉर द कंप्लीट वेक्टर्स सो नाउ यू आई होप दैट यू लर्न दैट हाउ कैन वी रिप्रेजेंट अ वेक्टर ग्राफिकली फ्रॉम दैट डिस्क्रिप्शन फ्रॉम दैट गिवन स्टेटमेंट this is a graphical representation of vector and this one is the symbolical representation of that vector not it done